we're back for part three, so we'll resume where we left off. We just went to sleep, uh, and we were saved by a whisperer, which is uh, pretty cool. <clears throat> can carry him. You're exhausted. No, I've got him. You know what that sound is? I don't know if any of you guys hear that sound. <clears throat> Fucking hell. Violet! Lewis! They came back! Jesus Christ. Look, you live out there alone, right? You could stay with us. See you, James. Possibly one of the last. Actually, no. I'm pretty sure they brought a few members back, didn't they, in the comics? A few guys who just didn't want to be there. I can't keep carrying you. We'll be inside soon. Rest now. That's what I thought. Shit. Is he... Uh... He's alive. He was shot. He's got a fever. Come on, let's get him inside. <sighs> I can't. <sighs> it's okay, buddy. I got you. Uh oh. Ah, <sighs> so we'll see if we uh, we're all good. I hope we do see James again. It'd be annoying if. Well, again, this could be the last episode. Maybe we won't then. <laughs> Let me see. I have what I need upstairs. Come on. We got the shrapnel out of him. We? It's a long story. He's running a fever. Body's trying to fight infection, poor little guy. Ruby and Lewis will take care of him. You come with me. We can talk in the office. Clem? Shh. You just try to rest, okay? We're gonna fix you right up. Tim! AJ, listen to Ruby, okay? She'll look after you. Come on. What do we do when we're scared? Oh, shit. Sorry. When fear starts to get the upper hand. We tell her to fuck off. We push. We, push it. we don't let it take over. I'm good now. Clementine, please. We need to talk. I'm pretty certain he'll be fine. What happened out in the woods? I saw they had you pinned and I... Shit, I got so crazy. When I heard you call for help, I didn't even think. 
I wanted to help you, but when you told us to run, I had to trust you. Thank you for protecting us. It was really brave. I really thought you were dead, Clem. I kind of regret that decision. It's just everything is so fucked right now. You know? It's really good to see you again. It's good to see you too. Just wish Mitch and the others felt the same. Lewis and I told them what happened in the woods. That woman who attacked you. Lily. So you do know her. We were wondering. Who the hell is she? I mean, I know you're not like with her group, but the others don't like the coincidence. Her showing up right after you? I mean, she's horrible. She always has been. Her dad was a racist asshole, and she defended everything he did. <laughs> Great. As if we didn't have more than enough dickheads already. She murdered someone in our group, gunned them down during an argument. Carly was her name. She refused to let Lily push her around. It was right at the start. I haven't seen Lily since. I believe you. But? There's something else. Lily said someone was with you at the gates. James. He saved me and AJ. Let us stay in his camp for the night. But why did you bring him here? You led him right to us. I mean, he's a stranger, Clem. Running into those two in the woods, it proved we can't trust anybody. You don't have to worry about James. We can trust him. Lily said he was wearing, I don't know, animal skins or something. He was wearing walker skin. That's how he gets past herds. He can guide them, too. <sighs> wow. Okay. I wouldn't have brought him <laughs> here if I thought he well. was a threat. <laughs> it's not that I don't trust you. I'm just worried about the others and what they might do. They didn't even get a chance to mourn Brody and Marlin before these child-snatching assholes showed up. And then you two come back after we thought you were dead. Now they're confused and no one knows how to feel about AJ. Violet, AJ is the least of their worries. I know, but everything is such a mess. They're scared and angry and they're looking for someone to blame. I mean, they kicked you out. How am I supposed to make them change their minds about you? It was decided. Five to three against. I know it feels like it shouldn't matter, but they were afraid of you. Both of you. You're sitting in Marlin's chair, aren't you? You're their leader now. They'll listen to you. They don't, though. They only listen when they want to. Well, they'll have to start if they want to survive what's coming. James told me what Lily and Abel will do next. He said they'll get more people and guns and come attack us. Take everyone here. How the hell would he know? He's watched them for a while. They're at war with another community. They take people to fight for them. Is that what happened to Minnie and Sophie? They turned them into soldiers? Yeah, it'll happen to us too, if we don't stop them. Minnie didn't even like killing walkers. <laughs> Look at this place. It's a fortress. With a little work, we could make this place really hard to attack. Do you actually know how to do that? Yeah, I was part of a siege once in a town called Richmond. Here, let me show you. On your defenses. Fortify the wall? We've got good, strong walls. We need to make them hard to climb over, so the raiders have to come in through the gates. We used to keep barbed wire in the greenhouse. The courtyard's pretty wide open, not a lot of cover. We should flip the picnic tables, narrow down the pathways through it, so we'll know which way they're coming. At the very least, it'll give us protection if they get past these walls. This is where we should make our stand. There's only one way in, the front, and then there's the big central staircase. If we rig that path with traps, we can pull back here. Luring in our attackers. I like it. Well, you guys don't use the greenhouse anymore, do you? No, we used to. Then we lost someone out there. Walkers overran the place and Marlin wouldn't let us go back. <laughs> Safe zone. We need to get that barbed wire so they can't climb the walls. 
I'll go. Are you sure? It's gonna be swarming with walkers by now. Okay, what the hell's going on? Well, he told me she was back, but I was like, no way. Violet wouldn't just go against what we all decided. Shh, would you keep it down? The little boy's asleep. His fever's already going down, Clem. He's gonna be okay. Great. We're just giving them our medicine, too? Mitch, oh, can we those kill this raiders guy? are getting ready to attack the school. <laughs> We need Clem's help. Like hell we do. For all we know, she's one of them. She's not. If you saw their leader's boot on Clem's neck, you'd know that. Use your head, Mitch. You saw AJ on your way in. If I was with the Raiders, why would they have hurt him like that? How do I know? Maybe he shot one of their friends. Mitch! Clem's going to the greenhouse to find barbed wire and anything else she thinks we need for the fight, and you're going to help her. Uh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. It's too dangerous for her to go by herself, and you're good in a fight. I can go too. You know, to keep the peace. Uh, I think. Oh, bye, Ruby. Since when are you the one making the calls? <gasps> oh. Since no one else stepped the fuck up. These two will meet you at the gate, and you can head to the greenhouse once I've explained the situation. I am predicting that Ruby is going to die. <laughs> See you there. Or at least one of them, anyway. I'm so sorry, little dude. Oh, fuck off, Lewis. I... Oh, right here. What time are we on? I think we've been playing for like 11 minutes, haven't we? Something like that. 11 or 12 minutes. I think. Yeah. Anyway. It's looking good. I'm quite liking it. I, I do like what they've done with it, especially episode 1. was so good. Uh, episode 2 so far has been pretty decent. I mean, nothing. no complaints. I'm just wondering if it's going to be as long, because episode 1 was... Huge. Guess I didn't realize how long it's been. How much it's changed. Ah, uh, this ain't budging. You gonna stand there sulking all day? You gonna do something useful? Well, we need that barbed wire. There must be another way in. I feel like there will be a collectible somewhere. Shall we go have a look? Is that a collectible? I think it is. <laughs> I thought I may as well have a Wild look. Wild boar. Not too many in these parts, but they were more common where I grew up. I used to hunt them with my old man when I was little. They make terrible noises when they die. I like it. It'll look good on my wall. <laughs> so, so sadistic. <laughs> Uh, so I got a wild ball skill. I thought I, I I just thought there'd be a collectible back there. It seemed too obvious. <laughs> mm, I can't see shit. Well, there's too much condensation on the inside. Condensation? That's a big word for you. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> mm, well, there's a ladder, so I think we'll try. Wait, no, that's not a ladder, is it? Oh, no, it is a ladder. That window. I bet we can get in there. Good spot. Mitch, come here and give me a boost. Wait. Make her go first. We send the one we don't mind losing. <laughs> that's an ugly thing to say. Fine, I'll, I'll go. go first. I don't mind. <sighs> Figured you'd fight it. Thanks, Clem. Holler if one grabs you. Otherwise, we'll come as soon as you give the all clear. I guess we'll know when the door opens. I think I was going anyway. Um, oh no, I'm just, I'm just going in. 
There's nothing in here. Oh no, there is. Oh no, there's a few. They said swarming. This is not swarming. Why would I jump down? Why haven't I not got a weapon? This is so dumb. Getting a little bit repetitive. I think it is kind of cool, though. I'm coming. I'll get the door open. Maybe if Ruby went, she might have died. I don't know. Not bad. Oh look, wild ginger, eastern prickly pear, Jerusalem artichoke, false Solomon seal. Let's find that barbed wire and anything else that might be useful. Some mushrooms are edible. Oh, a mushroom. Found something? Yep, maybe useful. Let's see, we get everything we need. Um, what's there? Oh, we can eat the mushroom. Nom, nom, nom. <coughs> <coughs> what? This was for science. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, oh wow. Well. It'd be funny if they were magic mushrooms. Trem's just tripping out. <laughs> uh, I feel like the barbed wire would be in here, but of course it won't open. He's just staring at me. Um, well, I've got a shovel, haven't I? Can I not pry it open with that? Or the knife? Oh, oh no, I'm gonna have to use this shovel. Could be a weapon. Or use it to dig a grave. <sighs> we weren't there when we dug the holes for Marlin and Brody. We had to use cups and bowls. Took forever. Um, you trying to say they couldn't deal with free walkers? Like that is that is pitiful. Um, yeah, I feel like, how am I meant to get this open then? Oh. Unfortunately, we should have something there. Ah, there we go, finally, we found something. What's that? Shears. Can I put them in my humongous pockets as well? Yes! Dibs! Sure, you can have them. He's got big pockets as well. That's the one thing I don't. I I, I love about Telltale. Like, where the hell has he put those shears? Come on, let's be let's be realistic here. I mean, that was not on my back. I mean, they could have at least put it on the back. There we go. I thought they just stood there staring at the wall. <laughs> Barbed wire, a lot of it too. That should keep the raiders from climbing our walls. Hey. We can use these. For what? We can make bombs out of these. Bombs? Are you yeah. serious? Totally. It's the kind of stuff I made back home. He used to blow shit up. That's why he's a troubled youth. Guilty. I just need some propane and something to create a spark. And we'll have ourselves a nice little homemade explosive. Fair enough. So, what did he say he needed? 
propane? If I remember right, there's a science lab through that door. Maybe there's propane in there. Come on, help me move this thing. I feel like I'm putting all the effort in here, mate. Ooh. What's the bet? There's walkers in there. Okay, let's see what's inside. What the hell is that? Ugh. Look at it. Ugh. Skip to Oh, Jesus Christ. Rose. What's going on? You alright? We had a scare, that's all. She. Miss Martin, our nurse at the school. She stayed when all the others left. God, she looks. She looks a bit dead. I can barely recognize her. She's just, just like all the others. I'm sorry, Ruby. I just wish I could make her look like she used to. One day we came out looking for food. Walkers attacked us. Thought we could fight them off, but there were just there were so many. Ms. Martin told us to run, so we did. She taught me how to patch people up, stitch in local anesthetics, painkillers, fever reducers. I don't think I can take care of her. Would you? I'm sorry. Sure, I'll kill her. That's what I'm good at. Are you okay? Yeah. Just need a minute. Come on, guys. Help me find that propane and we can get out of here. Propane. Uh, Mitch? Is this useful? Fucking A. I was hoping there'd be one of those. That's an igniter. We can use it to create a spark. Now we just have to find propane. We can blast those motherfuckers to hell. Is that propane? You find anything? I actually, I don't know what this is. Propane? Hmm. Let's hope there's gas in it. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Uh, here. Now we have everything we need. We should get back and tell the others. We have to bury Ms. Martin first. Oh, no, we don't. Bury her? Why bother? It's a walker. Help me drag it out back. We can burn it. No. Ms. Martin's the reason we're all alive. And? She deserves a proper burial. Here. Oh, can we know? Next to the greenhouse she loved. That way the others won't have to see her like this. She's been dead for years. There's no point. She deserves a real burial. Oh. We should burn her. Yes. I'm sorry. She's been like that for a long time. I am not sorry. A anymore. But we are not digging a pissing grave when there's a bunch of people about to raid our camp. Stupid. I am sorry. We've all seen people die. They won't fall apart over everyone.
It's better, you know, to get it over with. You get all caught up in who people used to be and you can't deal with what's in front of you. What the hell is that? <laughs> they could have animated I'll tell that there. When we get back. <laughs> but I changed my mind. We need you. Thanks. Yeah. Well, at least we got him on our side. Think I'm it'll be enough? Hopefully. It means Lily and her people won't be able to climb the walls. They'll have to come through the gates. We can plan for that. Straight into a fiery explosion of death. Assholes won't know what hit them. Yes. Yes, something like that. Anyway, I will cut that there, I think. Once we get past the loading screen. This is awkward. Anyway, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you uh, enjoyed this part of The Walking Dead final season. Possibly the final episode. <laughs> um, yeah, so pretty good episode. It was okay. Wasn't 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 as good as the last part, but that's the end of part three anyway. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. And uh, yeah, see you next video. Goodbye.